Somebody asked me the other day, what are all the different ways that the top three runners in a race can finish? Like, what are all the different variations that you can have for first, second, third place? Well, that's crazy because somebody just asked me, what are all the different types of three topping combination pizzas you can get with a bunch of different toppings to choose from? And those are definitely tough questions. When we try to figure out the way we can organize Specialized this to multiple objects We utilize this called factory on Looks like an exclamation sign Ain't it just me to count the ways we calculate Let me know, let me know How do we quantify factorial? Gotta know, gotta know We be telling you, gotta multiply down the line Show me how What does it mean? But that's a countdown Time to memorize the formulas If you got a permutation Permutation Send a factorial over In minus or factorial Oh, come on If you got a combination Combination Send a factorial over In minus or factorial Times a factorial Come on so you're trying to figure out how many different ways a bunch of racers can finish a race, right? Yeah, that's right. I mean, I want to know all the different outcomes. Hmm, okay. Can we try? Yeah, let's do it. When we try to count up all the ways, outcomes multiply. If we got to contemplate the order, it's permutations. So if we got to race with 15 kids, then we want to know all the ways. That the top three can be assorted We recognize Tell me how, tell me how N equals the total, which is 15 What about R? R equals the number chosen and it's three Will you tell me how to solve? Then we plug in, let them multiply and cross some more So what's the answer? The final answer is 27, 13 Got a permutation, permutation, send a factorial over, and it's all factorial. Oh, come on, we can get a combination, combination, send a factorial over, and it's all factorial, times a factorial. Come on. Okay, okay, get it. That makes sense. But what about when order doesn't matter? Like, what about my question about pizza? Yeah, I mean. In that case, it doesn't matter what order the toppings go on. That's a different problem. Now we got a different calculation. Order is obsolete. Look if we want to find the types of pizzas. With a few toppings. We'll just pretend that we can pick from ten. Don't leave two or three. How many unique pizzas have we? It's a combination. Tell me more. And it equals the total, which is ten. What about all? All equals the number chosen, and it's three. What you tell me is so? Then we plug in, gotta multiply and cross some more. So what's the answer? The final answer is a hundred and twenty. If you got a permutation, a permutation, sequential, we are low. Come on.